What's something you do, that more people should be able to do? Have a nonchalant attitude in life. Many people go through life counting their mistakes. Letting other people control their lives through emotional or mental abuse. Think stressful jobs. Comparing themselves to others causing low self-esteem, and thinking they're not worthy, etc. Let all that negative crap wash over you, and don't let it take hold of your life. The more you dwell on the negatives the deeper into the abyss, that is self-hate and depression you'll fall. Life is too short to always be doubting yourself and everything you do. It's definitely true. I think it's important to also understand that this isn't advice people can easily follow. Most people who experience anxiety and worry don't want to and know it is counterproductive. Everyone already knows they want to attain your view here. Determining the goal is easy, the how is hard, nebulous, and a constant battle. Good luck to all of us. Follow the golden rule. Treat others as you would like to be treated. So many people treat others like crap. I don't understand. Take a loss with grace. Losses are just learning opportunities. When people are sore losers it's indicative of much bigger emotional problems imho. Separate what I heard from what someone said, I sometimes really mishear people, and it takes me a minute to process what they actually probably said. I've started telling people, no matter how ridiculous, what I thought I heard, when I misheard them, it's pretty funny sometimes. I thought you said you called someone a crusty mitten, not asked if I could check that chicken. Sorry. I work from home. More people should have at least the reliable option. To do this making offices mandatory is absurd. I also get to sit all day. I'd love to see retail workers, especially cashiers, have freaking chairs. Empathize. Blows my mind how little empathy I see anymore. You start to see things so much differently when you can empathize. Control your emotions. I know many people who lets their emotions control them. Learning to cope with negative emotions and having healthy outlets and ways to communicate them is really important. The world would be a better place if more people could do this. Ugh yes, I don't know why this doesn't have more upvotes. Your emotions can control your actions and sometimes you have to take a step back to realize how those emotions are affecting you. Still something I work on every day because I think it's a fundamental skill. A pull up. Every time I see a zombie movie or an action film and the character is hanging on to something and about to fall to their death I think about how most people can't pull themselves up. Maybe adrenaline would help, but it would just be a sad way to go knowing that it just came down to something as simple as being able to do a single pull up. For action movie survival purposes, I suppose a muscle up would be a good goal. Pulling yourself up to chin level won't help much if that's all you can do pay a $1,000 bill without it affecting my lifestyle in any way. The world would be better off with fewer people living paycheck to paycheck. So, and not like, create your own clothes, but like point if something rips, sew it up. CPR. There are lots of places to take a class and a lot are free. If you want certification for BLS you usually have to pay, but CPR and learning how to use a need, it's pretty simple, can be free, and can save someone's life. Not care about the cost of the food I buy. We are older and comfortable in our finances now so, if we want to eat it, we buy it. A long way from our university days, when we lived off free govd cheese and butter, and homemade mac and cheese. I wish everyone had this kind of food security. Walk a mile without getting winded, not run just walk. Being able to love yourself for who you are. As a fat woman with autism I've plenty of things I could be harshly critical of, but after having kids I just said screw it, I want my kids to have a confident mum. So I bought a bikini that I look damn good in, and went out and had fun. Just today I dropped a glass water bottle on the floor in a supermarket, and it shattered everywhere. I laughed it off, and helped the clerk clean up. I just don't take everything so seriously anymore. I don't judge other people non-stop, so I stop doing it to others. All men should be able to cook. I don't know why this is a gender thing. When I was younger my parents started staying in Florida for the winter and I stayed behind. And I decided I'm not going to eat pizza and instant meals all winter long. I learned how to cook, and I did not find it to be that difficult, if I was doing something serious and complicated, like doing a turkey, I would call my mom on the phone for instructions, 
It always worked out well. I also took up experimenting, trying new recipes. It doesn't always work out, more than a few flops, but it definitely expanded my palate and personal menu. Compassion. It is so natural for me to see situations from other perspectives, but apparently isn't very easy for most people. Growing up on a farm meant I got to shoot a lot. Learning how to shoot and how to do it well is just such a fun experience. I Judy wish more, sane and non-criminal, live somewhere where they can go outside and shoot 400 plus yards if they want. I'm not much of a hunter anymore, and I'm not into all the tactical self-defense stuff either. I just love target shooting. I've never had more fun than spending an entire day shooting clay portions with my friends. It's just my opinion but changing tires. Just few days ago I watched 5 to 6 adults struggling to remove a tire from the place it was located in the car, and then them spending over 1 hour trying to put the new tire. Basic problem solving. I feel like people take no effort to solve a problem. They just immediately give up or find someone to solve it for them. Whenever my car breaks down I fix it myself. I have saved like dollar sign 7000 plus over the last 6 years. You'd be surprised how easy it is. How to use Google for simple problem solving. I.e. What time does the grocery store open? How to change a light bulb? Or how do I send an email in Outlook? Everyone should be able to fix their own stuff to some extent or another, if only because it makes them less dependent on other people and less vulnerable to shady businesses. For example, I recently went two weeks without hot water, and the big orange hardware store quoted me $1,500 for purchase and installation. I looked up on Yautab on how to change a heating element, and then I did it myself for less than $30. Taking in information that is presented to you. If you're in an argument, listen to what the other guy is saying. Even if you disagree, you have to know his points in order to counter them. On Reddit I've noticed a lot of people try to argue with me, but instead of countering the points I made they just invent their own points to counter. I think sometimes they just read the first handful of words and assume the rest. Because quite often they'll say something as if it's shocking new information that'll make me reconsider my position. Even though it's something I already said myself, if your computer slash phone malfunctions, it will often put a box of words on the screen. The words in that box, believe it or not, are, usually, not gibberish. They're actually a clue about what happened. If you read them instead of trying to break the word record for how fast someone can click on the close button, you might be able to stop whatever is going wrong from continuing to go wrong. If you just got a new toy or tool or perhaps some furniture that requires assembling, very often there will be a little booklet in the box that tells you what to do with it instead of knocking parts against each other at random and then crying about how complicated IKEA is. Just read the instructions and you too will be able to assemble your very own juxnors. Apologize and mean it, without exception. So many people I'm sorry but and it's usually followed by them saying why you also did something bad, so they don't feel as guilty. I do a once a month long bath, like about 40 minutes long, and while I'm enjoying the warm bath, I also do a self reflect for the last 30 days and self review about where I'm at, what's the important I need to sort out this month, am I happy, or what's making me unhappy yet. The culture is way too unbalanced that they trying to convince you you have to have a busy life to be happy, but everyone needs some time to themselves so they can self-reflect and assess to properly manage themselves.